um, so I'm as big. So. And so the Tamil family in the in the film are quite wealthy. They they seem very comfortable. I was just wondering how reflective that is of of the Tamil community. Is that common or is that rare? Or it's common for Colombo Tamils. Of a, you know, the, the Shyam's story is about his family, um, right? And, and there are wealthy. Tamil families within Colombo as much as there's wealthy Sinhalese, wealthy Muslim, wealthy mm, Burger, right. um, wealthy Malay families. Uh, so it is, that is in truth how it was. And, you know, it's reflective of how some of it still is. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, that's not a fiction. No, that's a reality. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering what it was like working with Deepa as a director. What sort of director is she? Is she, is she very, I mean, does she sort of sit back and let you get on with things or how, did, how does she work? What's the relationship like? Well, when we first um, arrived, we were all in a hotel together and um, we had this three, four day workshop that uh, Deepa was, you know, involved in with one of her good friends who is, a theatre practitioner in uh, India called uh, Neelam Mansing Chowdhury, who is mm. an amazing theatre practitioner. And so we had these workshops with her uh, to really understand our roles and go really, really within the character and, and the layers of, of, our, of who, we, who we are in the film. I've mm. never done a workshop like that in my, I've, I mean, I'm a theatre, you know, I'm a, my yes. background is theatre, but I've never experienced this kind of workshop where, oh my God, we would leave mentally and physically exhausted and broken. <laughs> but, but it was fantastic. It was for me as, a, as a, somebody with theatre background and for a few of the others, it was just so, it was such a learning process um, for us. And it, it's sort of leaving behind all the baggage that we've kind of brought in to this. Um, mm. all you know and just leaving everything behind at the door and just going in really raw Wonderful. and so that's mm. what she wanted from us to start with for when we mm. get on set is mm. to come in without preconceived ideas and as much as having done the work you know who you are as soon as we arrive on set it's an adventure with Deepa she knows exactly you know together with the actor what what our arc is for the scene for the for the actual you know overall objective of the film and that's the journey we go on and um i was really lucky that deepa and shyam you know my character has this really interesting arc mm, where she starts off as a very traditional tamil woman and as it goes on and as she gets older she kind of becomes she well not kind of but she becomes empowered by yes. the knowledge she has that yes, you know, her people are being discriminated against and something needs to be done. And as it mm. grows more and more and she meets this guy who comes from um, Jaffna, who, you know, is part of the LTTE, she's able to have a conversations about this, um, not with her husband, unfortunately, who, you know, is, is more concerned about, understandably too, about protecting his family mm. and supporting them and providing for them. And she's on this other trajectory and that's, the, you know, I really love that, that part of the, her story. Um, and Deepa was right there with me. So as, you, as soon as you get on set, it's a totally different, you know, you leave everything, you leave whatever happened in the script behind and you're there in that moment. And then, and I love improvisation and she's mm. all about that. And um, Wonderful. It, was, it was a dream to work with her. It absolutely mm. was. So you were open, you were free to improvise what felt right at the time as you, was, as you were well, filming? Uh, yes, based on who you are as the character and, mm. you know, what your journey is, absolutely. And, you know, she would, she would really be open for your own ideas. You know, the mm. first week was very different because you're, try, you know, getting to know each other and, um, you know, treading carefully. Um, and then as soon as, you know, that clicks, it's just quite explosive and, mm. and a wonderful, wonderful journey that I went on. It must have been an amazing her. experience. How long did it take to, to do all the filming? Um, I think, well, you know, we were on a low budget. This was a small indie film. So we 
did the we started in September and we finished um, sort of mid November. Right, and was that solidly working, or was that with breaks or? Solidly working. Gosh, yeah, amazing. Yeah, and were you yeah. coming home at the end of the day, or were you stay, staying somewhere else? Um, when we were shooting in Colombo, I stayed at home. Right. Um, but w most of it was out outside Colombo, so we all stayed in a hotel mm. together, the cast and crew, and oh, it we really fun. became like a family. Mm. It was it was really special. Oh, it that must have been lovely. And how did yeah. it feel emotionally to be working on such a a difficult subject matter of this film did it raise did it raise emotions for you or absolutely on so many levels mm. not just the ethnic conflict mm. um but that's what i'll talk about um because i i mean my family and i were here during the 83 riots um we had just planned to move back to sri lanka um and so you know we were right in the middle of it all Mm. We were in Colombo and a lot of my mum's family were, were very badly affected by it. Uh, we had people, you know, we had family and friends hiding with us. Uh, my dad is Sinhalese and um, he, you know, tried to protect his friends and family as much as he could. But I think it absolutely broke him to feel that his own people had um, behaved in this manner. Mm. And, you know, we went back, he took us and we went back to England because he just mm. knew it would be safer mm. for everyone. That must have been completely terrifying and unim unimaginable how that must have felt. Well, I remember, you know, we were kids. I was a kid and um, I had a really close friend and we used to play together all the time. And, you know, we, I, you know, we used to climb the roof and we used to sit there eating guava. This is all before. And... We used to go over, over the wall to, you know, there was a carpentry place there and chat to the guys making stuff. And there was an Indian family who was in the annex. We were renting the upstairs of a house. And um, there was an Indian family next door to us in, who had a little two-year-old girl. So we'd take her out and it was a big garden because there were lots of people living mm. in this house and we'd all play together. And then suddenly, it just changed and it turned. And um, the lady who owned the house was Tamil. Uh, so she stayed with us. She just locked up the downstairs and my dad pretended it was his house right. um, when they came to set fire to it. Um, nice. And uh, yeah, those are my memories amongst others that I have. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I have mentioned this before in, you know, in, in interviews, but there's a scene, I, I don't know, you, you know, when I'm, looking over through the window. I mean, a sari and there's yes. ambulances and stuff. And opposite, um, actually in real time, is where my aunt had her house, my great aunt. Um, and that was, you know, ransacked mm -hmm. and destroyed. And she had to leave by climbing over a wall mm -hmm. in her, you know, in her back garden to her neighbor's house. And I remember going there after it had all finished and going to see her with my mum and seeing the destruction and seeing her and how, you know, distraught she was. And then I'm in this scene where I'm in a close up and I'm being insulted for being Tamil. Mm -hmm. And it was an extremely surreal experience, yes. yeah. which I only shared with, with Deepa after the fact, you know. Yes. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, I've never been in a position where, I, um, you know, in England, I've always, always played, I've never played a Sri Lankan. Mm. Um, and that's fine. It's, you know, as a South mm. Asian sort of arts community, we do interchange. We, you know, we're quite, I think, empowered as a collective. Um, and so, you know, I've played Gujarati, Punjabi. I've had friends play Sri Lankan who have been Punjabi. Amazing. Um, so, it, because as an actor, you know, you want to be challenged, you want to play things that are outside mm. of your comfort zone. And as much as um, this was a character who I, I based on my own mum, she is a Colombo Tamil, um, and that is her growing up life. Um, it wasn't in my comfort zone, though. No. It was very uncomfortable mm. yes. to to come face to face with these realities. So, absolutely, absolutely. Um, 